Okay. Once you uh, have uh, grounded and protected your client, you draw in your symbol. I'm just going to visualize it, drawing in the master symbol, but you do show Karei from Reiki 2. And just push that in, opening the aura, opening the chakras. And then before you begin the healing, uh, if you're going to do crystal healing, which I don't normally do it on the first session because I don't know what to expect, so I just give them a Reiki healing on the first session, which quite often they're very depleted, so a nice long Reiki session, the first session. That'll charge them up because the spirit's a bit like a battery and he's charging up with Reiki. Uh, so then I'll go and um, actually do the crystals first before I start the healing. So between the legs on men and women, or on women, you can put it high up on the pelvis, well out the way up here. But uh, mostly between the legs, you can't put it there on men. So just lay your crystals on. So that's for your root chakra red. You've got orange one here, which is more of, that's on a jeans button, blow a navel. There you go. So these are a palm stone set. Um, as I say, I've showed you how to charge them and everything. And then on the solar plexus, which is two fingers above the navel. If you need to find the navel and measure it, measure it. <laughs> so that's your yellow. So you've got red, orange, yellow. Your heart chakra, just place it as best you can between the center of the chest. And you've got your blue throat chakra, base of the throat. So you just tell them this might be a little bit cold as you put it on. That's it. And then you've got the brown chakra which is indigo or violet, indigo or purple, sorry. And then your crown chakra you just has to put on the pillow mostly, but I can actually tuck it into Lily's dreadlocks. <laughs> I hope I can. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Once they fall off. There we go. Perfect. Right, okay. Now, uh, if it's between the legs, you just use one hand and we're actually these are charged crystals, the energies will drop through into those chakras. The crystals themselves will balance and help cleanse the chakras, but I also use Reiki on these. So if it was between the legs, you use one hand to direct the energy down to the crystal and up into the base of the spine where the root chakra is, which is red. But as it's here, hands off over there, just allowing the Reiki energy. You can also use uh, the Reiki energy or symbols, if you want to empower it with a power symbol, you can put that through it too. So just visualizing that go all the way down into a root shackle, which is red, balancing, cleansing, purifying, and clearing any blockages. So you want to heal it for about a minute. And it's quite quick, crystal uh, cleansings. They work within about a minute or two. Once you've done that, you're onto the solar plexus, which is orange. She can, says she can feel the energy going down into it. So I think Lily might have a tiny bit of a blocked or very active sacral chakra. There's quite a lot of heat coming up from it. So just allow that loving Reiki energy to flow down through the crystal, allow the crystal to work. Cleansing, clearing, clearing any blockages, harmonizing. Then to the solar plexus. So you can clean your hands in between if you want to. Just brush them off. Allow that energy to sink down into the solar plexus. The 
solar plexus very intuitive allowing any negative energies to be drawn up into the crystals too this way cleanses them each time you use them and the heart chakra just fingers on it from both sides on women you can put your hands over and touch it on men just letting that energy sink down into her heart chakra cleanse, clear, purify, unblock on the throat chakra, don't press too hard on the throat chakra, it's right where she's breathing so just lightly two fingers just on that throat chakra crystal just really just touching it not pressing on it now again the brow chakra just your palm right on that crystal allowing that to sink into the, the energy to sink into her inner eye into her brow chakra cleanse, clear, purify, unblock Move both hands over if you want, just lightly. Okay. Might want to just brush your hands off sometimes. And if the crystal's on the pillow behind their head, just pick the crystal up and put it on their crown. Hold it in your palm. Just heal over the crown. Allowing those energies to sink down into the chakra. Cleansing, clearing, purifying, unblocking. Okay, once you've done that, just have a piece of something to put your crystals on. Just take them off. Just move them out the way. And then you can begin healing. Right behind the back of the head as far as you can get your fingers without lifting the head. Normal Reiki healing, you do lift your, the head and put your hands behind, but it's so uncomfortable. People don't want to put too much pressure on your hands, so they try holding their head up and it strains their neck. So just slip your hands in as close as you can to the back and begin your healing. Did you experience anything during that, Lily? <clears throat> yes, um, lots of colours this time, and I could feel the energy from the crystals. Oh, that's wonderful.